In Carmel, California, Jake Reisdorf uses a smoker to calm his honeybees so he can safely check how they're doing. Jake also has someone checking up on how he's doing, mom and dad. Jake is just 14 years old and already the successful owner and operator of the Carmel Honey Company, which sells a variety of honey products to more than 100 wholesalers. He's got plans for more. Honey and pie, oh man, come on. Why not? I mean, you know, take it as big as you want it to go, and uh, we're hoping to take it as far as we can ride it out as long as we can. Basically, we have a few ideas for some uh, pretty cool things in the future. The honey from Jake's hives ends up in four varietals, orange blossom, wildflower, sage, and meadow foam. There are no preservatives, no additives, just pure raw honey. The flavor is based upon what the bees have foraged on, so you really get a distinct flavor. Jake, what's up, man? Jake's honey is used at many upscale restaurants, like Poppy Hills Golf Courses, Porters in the Forest, where Chef Johnny DeVivo recalls chatting with some fellow chefs and then seeing Jake approach. He came in with his family, and, you know, he's like, do you mind if I talk to you? I was like, well, what's this kid gonna, what's he going to sell me, like, you know, cookies? And then he, he sat me down, he told me about his honey, and I, like, immediately just fell in love with the kid. You know, I wish 90% of kids and people who had as much passion in driving life. I wouldn't use any other honey, you know, I mean, his honey is fantastic. Carmel Honey Company also runs a hive placement service where they manage around 100 hives on other people's property, with the incentive being to split the honey and pollinate their plants. It's not an easy business. Jake lost around 45% of his bees last year. On top of that, beekeeping itself also appears to be a dying profession. The average age of a beekeeper is around 70, and usually generation after generation, the professions are being taken up by little kids. Hopefully, we're trying to make it more attractive to younger people and to make it uh, a profession that people want to get into. And even if they're not into the bees, then try to go to the science about bees and find a cure for the bees. That's why another part of his business is educating the community. If the bees go, then alfalfa will go. In turn, uh, the cows won't have anything to eat, which will basically drop decline in cows, so you wouldn't have any steak or meat to eat either. On this day, Jake visits his old school, Carmel River Elementary, the very place where a class project inspired him to explore his current profession. Jake has visions of creating a honey tasting room or perhaps a pollination center. But give him time, for his first order of business is finishing middle school. Thank you. Yep. Mark New, CGTN, Carmel, California.